So um, on this one, what they're trying to ask us to do now is determine if AB is parallel to DF. Now remember, if they are parallel, then what we can do is use the converse of the proportionality theorem. The proportionality theorem says if these are parallel, then these are proportionate, right? The lengths of these are proportionate. So if we're trying to find, are these parallel? Well, then if I can determine that these are proportional, then I can prove that they're parallel. All right? So let's go and take a look at what we have. We have BC is 15. BE is 6. DC is 12. And AD, oh, that's right there. AD is 8. So again, what proportion do we need to create to prove that these are parallel lines? Well, Donovan, the first one we have is BE is BE is to EC is equal to AD as into DC. Did everybody see that? OK. So those proportional to lengths when they're in there. So now let's just plug in our lengths. So we know BE, which is 6, is to EC. We have a problem, though. We don't know EC. We only know BC and BE. But Kevin, if that's 6 and that's 15, what does this have to be? 9. nine. So 6 is a 9, which is equal to AD, which is 8, over 12. Caleb, are those equal to each other? Hmm. Same time I asked you the same question, you're doing the same thing. What? Did you do the cross product like I asked you? They are equal. You're right. Very good. They are equal. And the other way you can do it is just reduce them. 2 thirds is equal to 2 thirds. So guess what? Since these are equal, I can now prove by using the converse that those are parallel lines. OK? All right.